Hi, I'm Lauren Kennedy. I am an Outreach and Volunteer Officer for Bumblebee Conservation Trust and today I'm going to share with you my local walk in the beautiful Kent countryside. We're going to take a closer look at the wildflowers I find along my walk, most of which are incredibly important food plants for bumblebees. Patches of grassland and scrub can be bursting with life. Dandelions are not only a lovely splash of colour, but a really important food plant for bees, especially early in the year. Our bumblebees all have different tongue lengths, and it's our short tongued bumblebees, like the buff tailed bumblebee, that are particularly fond of dandelions, as the nectar is easy to reach and the flower itself provides a flat platform in order to perch on. Road verges can be packed full of wildflowers, most commonly cow parsley, this tall plant with white flowers. But just in here, a beautiful patch of green alkanet in the borage family. It has these lovely blue flowers and it's quite bristly stems and is a brilliant bumblebee plant. Along my walk, there's a lovely patch of woodland. Here we find a whole range of different wildflowers that take advantage of the lovely shady spots, the dappled sunshine and some of the more open woodland glades. Here we have an early purple orchid looking magnificent. You can see it has these little black splodges on the leaves around the base of the stem and then these lovely purple flowers. This species can have much lighter flowers as well, sometimes pink, sometimes white. And as the name suggests, is one of the first orchids to flower. Woodland glades create these gorgeous little sunny spots that are really sheltered and excellent for wildflowers. Ooh. <laughs> this little patch is packed full of ground ivy and this gorgeous plant called Yellow Archangel, a typical woodland species. Just coming into flower, we've got the common bird's foot trefoil. A brilliant food plant for bumblebees, and it's in the pea family. This is one of those plants that has a lot of different English names, including eggs and bacon, and granny's toenails. This is one of my favorite little wildflowers. It's called Scarlet Pimpernel, these beautiful red flowers. It's quite small and low growing. It's also known as shepherd's weather glass, as the flowers tend to close in bad weather. White dead nettle is an excellent bumblebee plant. It's in the dead nettle family and is often termed a weed. But actually, it's a beautiful and a really important source of nectar and pollen for, for bumblebees. Thank you for joining me on my wildflower walk. I hope this has inspired you to take a closer look at the wildflowers and the bumblebees in your local patch.